everyone so today is 19 december tuesday and it is currently 8:36 pm and this is my to do list for today right now i'll start off with mathematics i'll place a timer of 2 hours now so this timer will end at 10:36 pm so yeah let's start off with mathematics so here i was practicing the last exercise of circles from the book of rs agarwal basically there are only two exercises so this was the second exercise and once i was done with circles i started doing the chapter statistics and i started off with the ncert after statistics i'd be left with the chapter areas related to circles and then uh, there are a few minor chapters like real numbers polynomials linear equations and two variables and quadrilaterals after that i'd be done with my syllabus revision and then i will start solving the sample papers one by one and while solving the sample papers i'd actually get to know how much i have improved and how much i would be able to score in my pre boards and boards so let me give you guys a little school update so in our school my english teacher conducts an english test every alternate day because our syllabus is over of every single subject so there are revision tests going on currently and obviously there are remedial classes also but the remedial classes is only for the first hour after that the regular classes continue so our english teacher conducts an conducts a test every alternate day and she takes the test of like 3 to 4 chapters combined now in those tests she asks like three markers and uh, six markers mostly and in those six mark questions i put in a lot of effort like i write my point of view i i write the point of view of the characters i use a lot of different words to make the answer look more formal and put together i make sure that i make no grammatical errors but even after all of this i i could never manage to get a perfect score i always get a 5 not even a 5 and a half out of 6 so when i asked her about it she said that until and unless a student writes something which is very extraordinary it is next to impossible to get a perfect score in literature and anyone barely gets that other than that if the answer is standard then there are chances that you'd get a 5 and if the answer is more like if it is like of a higher level then you could get a 5 and a half but until and unless it is something very different like uh, it, until unless it is something that makes the teacher more interested towards reading the answer there are very low chances that someone might get a 6 and obviously that broke my heart because now i have very low chances of getting a perfect score in english and hindi literature by the way here i was practicing the 2023 question paper of social science and i was practicing it from the book of physics wala and this is not sponsored okay i'm just honestly saying it like this book actually has like all the question papers of the last 10 years so i was just practicing the 2023 outside delhi paper from this book i won't say that the questions were very tough because they weren't actually but i think that i need to include a little more information to enhance my answer in social science and i'm practicing the answer of sst a lot nowadays because in social science we are supposed to put in a lot of information regarding the names dates treaty place uh weather a lot of things right so when we write that down we ha- you know it just helps us to memorize the things better because most of the things are of memorization like even if you understand all of it you have to memorize most of it and yes from sst i have revised the full syllabus except one chapter i am still left with one chapter and that is agriculture i will revise the chapter very soon but i can't do that tomorrow because tomorrow i will have a lot of other work to do fe 1201 and right now i am done with my sst pyqs and also economics revision so i'll take a break of 15 minutes now so this timer will end at 12:16 am and from 12:16 onwards i will start practicing the ncert exampler most probably for 40 minutes or so because i don't have enough time and i'll also have to leave for school tomorrow and then i will do the hindi grammar for 30 minutes yeah so that's my plan for now 
19 and right now I place a timer of 40 minutes. So this timer will end at 12.59 am, basically 1 am. So right now I will start practicing the NCRT example of the chapter carbon and its compounds. So here I was practicing the question of the chapter carbon and its compounds and I'm done with all the questions of exemplar. So right now I am only left with my physics revision and this means that I'm done with my chemistry also, revision. Also, the 10th grade is ending very soon. Like on the 23rd of December, we have our last class and then obviously there are going to be winter vacations. Once the winter vacations get over, we have our second pre boards and then we have preparatory leave, farewell, etc, etc. So, yeah, afterwards, we will not be able to attend any class of this 10th grade. And it is kind of emotional because all my friends are going in different ways. Even my best friend. And I will be preparing for competitives. So, there are very high chances that I won't be attending school on a regular basis. And obviously, I will not be able to meet my friends every day. So, and obviously life is also going to change because 10th grade's syllabus is huge. It's like there is a lot of competition and we will be stuck in our studies 24-7. So, it's just kind of emotional for me. I feel bad, but I also feel good that we will move on in our lives. But without our friends, nothing is going to be the same after 10th grade. And I hope that 10th grade was fun for you. You made a lot of memories. And definitely we are going to stay in touch. So all the best to you for your future endeavors. It is currently 1.33 am. And right now I am done with my exemplar. And Hindi grammar work for today. So basically I am done with all the tasks of today. So yeah that was it for today's video. I hope you liked this video. And if you did then do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I will see you in my next video. Bye.